What is the new paradise? And what the new Jerusalem looks like? Will God live with the saints in the new earth? Will the new earth be only for those that will be rapture? And what is our reward after this world? Let look at some Bible verse. Revelation 21 verse 1. Then I saw a new heaven and a new earth, for the first heaven and the first earth had passed away, and there was no longer any sea. I saw the holy city, the new Jerusalem, coming down out of heaven from God, prepared as a bride beautifully dressed for her husband. The new Jerusalem is the beginning of a new start with God, in the kingdom of heaven, the place Jesus has prepared for us, who are here on the earth. The new paradise is a place of rest, which is also known as the new Jerusalem. The new earth is also in the new heaven, once this previous one pass away. It is what is called the new Jerusalem, whereby all things are made of gold, and the people of God will live there with God forever, with the holy angels. Revelation 21 verse 4. And he will wipe away every tear from their eyes, and death will be no more, neither shall there be mourning, nor crying, nor pain any more, for the former things have passed away. And in these days of gladness after the tribulations of this world, when Jesus has come for the faithful, the cause of the pain, the crying, and the hate, will be in the lake of fire, where they will be tormented day and night in the presence of the holy angels. And forever we will dwell with God, and be in His presence. And we will see Him face to face. In the new heaven and the new earth in which righteousness dwell. Isaiah 65 verse 17. For behold, I create a new heaven and a new earth, and the former things will not be remembered or come into mind. All that you have gone through in this world it will not come into remembered in the heart of the elect. God chosen people. The meek shall inherit the new earth. God will dwell in the midst of his people. Revelation 2 verse 7. He who has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit says to the churches. To the one who conquers I will grant to eat of the tree of life, which is in the paradise of God. Therefore hold on to your crown, your crown is your glory. Repent and walk with God in truth and in righteousness. Do not be deceived, for the devil is against you, and selfish, for he seek for many to be partake in his punishment of rebellious against God. He will be judge accordingly due to his wickedness, and those who chose his path. Revelation 20 verse 10. And the devil who had deceived them was thrown into the lake of fire and sulfur where the beast and the false prophet were, and they will be tormented day and night forever and ever. And for the good people will dwell in the kingdom of God and worship God for he has delivered his people, from the hand of the devil. And the serpent who deceived the world shall be cast out from the rest of the beast and dust will be his food. Isaiah 65 verse 25. The wolf and the lamb will graze together, the lion shall eat straw like the ox, and dust shall be the serpent's food. They will not hurt or destroy in all my holy mountain, says the Lord. No longer will there be anything accursed, but the throne of God and of the Lamb will be in it, and his servant will worship him. And behold, they will be glad and rejoice forever in the new Jerusalem, to be a joy, and her people to be gladness. I will rejoice in Jerusalem and be glad in my people, no more will be heard in it the sound of weeping and the cry of distress. No more will there be in it an infant who lives a few days, or an old man who does not fill out his days, for the young will not die, saith the Lord. For the Lamb in the midst of the throne will be their shepherd, and he will guide them to springs of living water, and God will wipe away every tear from their eyes. The Lord is coming for the pure in heart, for without a clean heart you cannot enter the kingdom of God. The new Jerusalem, God has prepared for his people. Revelation 21 verse 27. But nothing unclean will ever enter it, nor anyone who does what is detestable or false, but only those who are written in the Lamb Book of Life. Blessed are those who wash their robes, so that they may have the right to the tree of life and that they may enter the city by the gates. The new Jerusalem is a place prepared for God-chosen people, the elect. The dwelling place of the Father, and the Lamb, and the chosen elect, the holy nation. John 14 verse 2 to 6. I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you to myself, that where I am, there you may be also, behold, the dwelling place of God. 
for he will dwell with his people, and he will wipe away every tear from their eyes. And death will be no more neither will there be mourning, nor crying, nor pain any more. For the former things have passed away. No longer will there be anything accursed, in the city. And the saints together with the holy angels will worship the Lord. We will see his face, his name will be on our foreheads. And night will be no more, for God will be the light of the new Jerusalem. There will be no need of the light of lamps or sun, for God will be the light. And we will reign, forever and ever with the living God. Revelation 7 verse 17. For the Lamb in the midst of the throne will be their shepherd, and he will guide them to springs of living water. And God will wipe away every tear from their eyes. Heaven is a place for the pure heart, and clean heart. No man can work with God without a clean heart. Righteousness, and kindness, are the key into eternal life. Jesus is our salvation. Is the ultimate solution, to every soul that has lost his way into the eternal kingdom of God. The New Jerusalem. Jesus is the door and the only way to heaven. He is coming. Put on the ornaments of purity, and of holiness. Therefore be ready and prepared for the day of the Lord is coming. Whereby God will judge the nations and his people accordingly to what they have done. Revelation 20 verse 12. And I saw the dead, great and small, standing before the throne. And books were opened, then another book was opened, which is the book of life. And the dead were judged by what was written in the book, according to what they had done. Jesus is coming for two things. To take his own. And to judge the world. Repent. For the days of the Lord is upon you. And upon the world. Purge away your sinful nation. And turn to the only living gods that you may enter into the city. The new Jerusalem, and have eternal life. Jesus is coming be ready. Amen.